back everybody. Normally I would do this intro in front of the airplane standing outside. It is 32 degrees here in Austin. It's also super windy and I was freezing. So I filed my flight plan. We are going to climb up to 7,000 feet to get back to Sugarland. Should be a quick, easy flight. So I will see you in the sky soon. Here we go. I can't tell if this guy is waiting for me or not. No, he's walking to the fuel truck, so we're good. 180 degree turn, make sure that's locked in there. Beautiful. 38 gallons of fuel remaining, so just under four hours. Plenty of fuel on board for our flight. Key in. Here we go. Clear prop. Today's video is proudly sponsored by Hamilton Watches. Stay tuned to check out my new watch that's not only perfect for a pilot, but for any adventure. Everything is slowly coming up, holy moly. Good afternoon, Austin Clearance, Cherokee 773 in November. I'd like to pick up IFR to Sierra Golf Romeo, Sugarland Regional, please. Cherokee 7738, November, executive tower clear to Sierra Golf Romeo Airport via L Direct, then Direct. Climb maintain 3000, I expect 7001 zero minutes after departure. Departure for exceeds 127.22, squawk 4656. All right, clear to Sierra Golf Romeo via L Direct, then Direct. Climb maintain 3000, expect 7000 within one zero minutes. Frequency 127.22, squawk 4656 for 7738 November. 738 November, re back, right? Okay, 4656. Six, six, six. Five, 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 like clear, touch and go. And let's come over here to 3000 because that's what he told us we are going to climb up to, so that is perfect. We'll set our other frequency up once we switch back to tower, which we're gonna do here in just a second. And now we have to figure out how to spell L direct. EDC, which is where we currently are. L direct. Nope. I filed on my phone, so if they updated it, then we'll be able to see that. L rec. Lima Delta Romeo Echo Tango. I never would have spelled that right. It was never going to happen. <laughs> I'm glad that I double checked. Holy moly. You probably heard me say L direct and was like, what did she just say? Ground is 119.45, tower is 120.3. We'll just stay on ground until we are holding short. And if we're using runway 31, if I am not mistaken, we're going to taxi via Alpha all the way down. That's really simple. Love that. Executive Ground Cherokee 7738 November at the FBO with information November ready to taxi. Cherokee 7738 November, Executive Tower standby. Uh, traffic coming into the ramp at this time. Roger, standby 7738 November. Fly with Kate. That's me. <laughs> Couldn't tell who was actually saying that. It's always so hard to tell if it's tower and they're just like being funny or if it's a pilot and there is a pilot coming in so it's possible. We'll see if they wave. Uh, runway 31 taxi via Alpha. Behind the Skyhawk ahead of me, 31 via Alpha, 773 November, thanks. They didn't wave so I don't think that was them. Maybe. It also could have been the guy that was in the fuel truck but somebody said fly with K. So if you're watching this and that was you, thank you for saying hi. Sorry we didn't get a whole lot of time to chat but hopefully uh, you're having a great day. So this is a really super easy taxi. We're basically just gonna come right over here and I'll bring this up too just to make sure. And we're going to take a right and taxi all the way down to runway 31. This runway is 6,025 feet long by 100 feet wide. So nice, easy runway. We are gonna have quite a bit of a crosswind. It actually sounds like the winds haven't been fully updated on that last broadcast either. Cause I'm looking out at that wind cone and it is a blowing for sure. But no worries, I'm ready. Cherokee 38 November, you gonna be doing run ups? Affirmative for 7738 November, but I will be quick. Roger. Brakes are set, fuel proper tank. 19 in the left, 20 in the right. I always like to take off on the fullest tank. If you're new here, you may not know that. Now you do. So electric fuel pump on, fuel pressure starts in the green. Rolling that fuel selector over, right tank now. Fuel pressure stays in the green. Electric fuel pump off and boom, fuel pressure remains in the green. Excellent. Pushing and pulling that control yoke forward and back and then rolling side to side. Instruments blue over brown, wings are level, ball is centered, airspeed read zero within 75 feet of field elevation and not indicating climb or descent. HSI still aligns with magnetic compass within 10 degrees, no bubbles, cracks, or leaks. All of our engine instruments are coming up into the green. We're really just waiting on that oil temperature, so that is looking good. 
Doors latched. Window closed. 4656. Landing light on, strobes on, and the time is 1.43 p.m. I took off a little later today than I thought I was going to, but I had a good time. I enjoyed my $100 Chinese food. Our frequency is going to be 127.22. Executive Tower Cherokee 773, November holding short 31, ready for departure. 38, November, Executive Tower, runway 31, flight heading 040, clear for takeoff. 040, runway 31, cleared for takeoff, 773, November. Here we go. Final is clear, runway is clear. On to center line. Perfect. Full power. Got a good amount of crosswind coming from the left. I can already feel it. There's 60. All gauges are in the green. Rotate. Everything's looking good, turning to heading 040. For 38 November, free seat uh, contact Austin departure. Have a good afternoon. Over to departure, you too. 773 November, thanks. Good afternoon, Austin Departure, Cherokee 773 in November is checking in, turning to heading at 040, climbing through 1,400. November 7738, November, Austin Departure, IDEN, altimeter 3047. IDEN 3047, 773 in November. Oh, it is a bumpy takeoff, I lost my pen. I can see it, it's not actually lost. Electric fuel pump off, fuel pressure stays at the green, landing light off, heading 040, continuing that climb up to 3000. I did hit ident. Departure Red Lake 296, leveling off at 4000, heading 040. Red Lake 296, Austin Departure, radar Looks contact, good. time to maintain 1 2000, clear direct dialectic. Climb it. Hit it one more time just in case. Sounds like he might have gotten a little busy. November 38, November radar contact, 2 miles north of Boston, Executive Airport, turn right, heading 090, climb and maintain 7000. 090, climb and maintain 7000, 773 in November, thank you. Heater finally is starting to kick in, so that is a good sign because it is really, really cold. Red Lake 296, reset transponder squat 4037. Kind of feels like we just got out of all of our bumps, too. That's kind of nice. I don't want to jinx us, but it kind of feels like it. I have some clouds that are starting to build. That's part of the reason why today was my best day to fly. Because of how cold it's been, I don't have DIC equipment on my airplane. At least not yet. Maybe on the next one. You never know. But not on Little Red. So I've had to be really careful with the weather. Our cylinder head temperature is at 368. All gauges are in the green. We are currently burning 15 gallons of fuel per hour, which... Sounds like a lot, but it is usually what I'll expect to see up until I lean out that mixture, and we will do that together once we level off at 7,000 feet. Of course, we have a headwind. Even though we had a headwind on the way here, we're also going to have a headwind on the way home, because that's just always how things end up working out for me. Our indicated airspeed is 125 miles per hour, and ground speed is 115, so about a 10 mile per hour headwind right now. I'm hoping the more we climb, the more that goes down. That would be ideal. We are only, let's see, 15 nautical miles away from, oh, I'm going to butcher this, Austin Bergstrom International Airport, so that is why this frequency is so busy. But as soon as we get a little bit further and we can switch to uh, Houston Center, it gets a little bit more calm up until we come back in for Houston Approach, but you'll see all of that, don't worry. That's 2104 Approach, 125.32. 2532, that's 2104, you have a good one. Good day. November 889, Lima Bravo, Austin Departure, Radar Contact, Maintain 4000, Clear Direct Dialexi. Maintain 4000, Direct Dialexi. I got my pen. You bet. No, 
November 8, Charlie Bravo, clear direct munch. Direct munch, hey Charlie Bravo. He has an accent. November 253, contact. I've had people leave comments saying I have an accent, and I'm like, I think that's cool, but I don't think I do. I don't know. Do I sound like I have an accent to you? Let me know. And if so, where? Direct Aldrich. Clear direct to Aldrit for 7738 November. Thank you. You bet. <laughs> I didn't say it right that time either, but hey, we're good. Nav mode. Perfect. Going to start a nice, easy turn here to the right. Traffic three miles northeast of your position, southbound Airbus 6000 for 5000. Caution, wake turbulence. And now we are direct on the iPad as well. And we've got some sunshine coming into the airplane, so that'll warm things up a little bit for us, too. Thank goodness. I really don't handle the cold very well at all. Well, I had a nice little visit in Austin. I did get a courtesy car, which was very nice of them. It was a Toyota. Love Toyota. It wasn't a truck, it was a sedan, but it was still a nice little car. And I was going to go get a Starbucks, and then I realized I really didn't want that much caffeine. So I was just kind of driving around, and I found a Panda Express. So now that we have leveled off at a safe altitude, we're at 6,000 feet. The airplane is running beautifully. Everything is looking good, and ATC is at least a little less busy. I wanted to show you my new watch. I'm going to try to show this back camera so you can get a close up. If it doesn't work, then of course I will take a video of it because it is so stunning. You have to see it. But it looks just like this. And I actually got to pick out which one I wanted. I did the white band because I think white is timeless and it'll match everything I own. But a little bit about the company. 1918 Hamilton Watch Company was actually chosen to time the first U.S. mail delivery between New York City and Washington, D.C. 1918. That is so crazy to me. So they've been in business for over 100 years and they have a whole bunch of different designs to choose from. So I'll put a few on this screen right here so you can take a look for yourself. Hamilton just came out with a brand new khaki aviation pilot collection that was inspired by the sky but is perfect for any adventure. Seven new references to choose from, 42 millimeters in size, nickeled hour and second hands plus a day date window, and they are water resistant up to 100 meters. Click the link in the description to check them out. Look at how pretty it is. I don't know, it's so awkward to try to show you, but hopefully you can see what I'm trying to show you. What are the odds of the entire time I'm talking, I can't get ATC to not talk? But I swear, anytime I have something I'm really excited to tell you all about, somebody comes on the frequencies. By the way, we just heard another beeping sound that indicates that we are 200 feet away from our selected altitude. And once we level off, be smooth sailing. Does it get much better than this? Perfect. So there is 7,000. RPMs are currently 2650. So I'm going to pull those back to 2600 just so I can re-lean out that mixture. So we'll go slightly enriched here. There we go. And keep pulling that back. There's that engine roughness, so slightly enriching that here. A little bit more. And that puts us at about 10.4 gallons per hour, which works for me. Our indicated airspeed is 129 and ground speed is 128, so even though we do have some wind up here, it's not really affecting us. Great. DHT is 369 degrees, all gauges are in the green, and we're going to bump up these RPMs to about 2650 or so because according to the cruise RPM checklist, at 8,000 we can be at 2650, so anywhere between 2625 and 2650 is perfect for today's flight. We have 52 minutes in route. I am going to request to do another instrument approach, and we'll kind of see what they say. We're using runway 35. At least we were when I left, and since we were using runway 31 here in Austin, we can suspect that it's probably gonna be 35 but we will find out when we get a little closer and we take a listen to our weather. November 9 or 2-0, Mike, Mike, Austin approach. Austin all, timber to 3-0-4-7. 3 0 4 7. 3 0 4 7. thank you. All 2 2 
flight following. Ball 3-2, you don't want to talk to Houston approach. Ooh, we have some clouds up here. Rich 125 Temperature is 35 degrees, so I'm going to keep an eye out on that. Take my turn northbound. Guard 72063, thank you. November 5-6 golf climb and maintain 1,000. They're just a couple of little wispy ones. We're on an instrument flight plan anyways, but I got to keep an eye on the temperature too. November 8 Delta Romeo, traffic no factor, climb and maintain 1,000. 12,000, 8 Delta Romeo. So anytime I use one of the courtesy or the crew cars when I'm traveling, and, you know, I come into an airport and stuff. I always look to see, okay, does it need gas? And the tanks were totally full, and I think I drove, like, less than 10 miles, so I didn't worry about it this time around. But I got on this little tollway, and I was worried that it wasn't going to have a tag on the car, so I went the other way. I found a freeway where you could go 80 miles an hour. I was shocked. I took a screenshot. No, not a screenshot. It's, yeah, a screenshot, because I was using my uh, app snap here. Snap. I don't know. Um, but I took a screenshot of it because I was like, no one's going to believe me. Look at that. 80 miles an hour. I thought everybody was speeding and then I realized that no, they're just going the speed limit. I thought that was pretty cool. I stayed in the right lane and I think I went 75. It's an unknown area in somebody else's vehicle. I err on the side of caution. Austin approach, Bonanza triple seven, November kilos within 9,500. I did stop and get a dirty iced chai tea latte this morning on my way to the airport. And I am just now remembering I brought it with me. I think, let's see, moment of truth, I did. Exit jet 908, turn right, heading 0 9 or 0. You can expect higher momentarily. Ooh, that's really good. 908. November 8, Delta Romeo, contact Houston Center 132. I got this at 855 this morning. I'm one of those people, whenever I get a coffee or a beverage from anywhere, I can legitimately make it last the entire day. Are you like that too? I don't know. I feel like there's two types of people. You either make it last the entire day or you drink it within five minutes and then it's gone. You toss it and you're like ready to go on your day. Let me know which one you are. Because it's not even a big one. It's a grande. But it's delish. Like with November, with like a full stop at Austin. Crew track 523, Austin approach, radar contact, expect runway 36 right. Verify information, November. 36 right, and yes, we have November, Crew check 523. I had somebody recommend I should listen to the Macarena and do the Macarena. I don't have that song downloaded, unfortunately, but we can do it. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know the beat, to be honest with you, but we'll make it work. Hey, Macarena. If you're not doing it with me, that's really lame, but that's okay. This is the last one. Macarena. Uh, we're gonna descent. So we do have quite a few clouds starting to build in front of us and with how cold it is and I just don't want to deal with any potential icing. So we are going to request to descend and maintain 5,000 now and see if that keeps us below them. Austin, Cherokee 7738, November with request. Cherokee 38 November, say request. Like to request to descend and maintain 5,000 now for 7738 November due to clouds. November 38 November, to send and maintain 7, or I'm sorry, to send and maintain 5,000. Austin Parker Southwest 3482. Descend 500 feet per minute, pull some of that power back. Southwest 3482, Austin. And might take us a little bit longer to get home because the winds weren't great at 5,000, but I don't feel like dealing with clouds when it's this cold. Make sure I don't spill my precious beverage over here. Southwest 3482, clear direct to Alexi. Directly to Alexi, Southwest 3482. 
November 3-8, November. Contact Houston Approach, 124.22. 124.22, take care, 773 November. This is always a busy frequency, so it might take us a minute to be able to actually chat with them. We're going to descend a little bit faster. Number 556, Roger, advising you have information November. Good afternoon, Houston, Cherokee, 773 in November, checking in, currently descending through 6,200 for five. Cherokee 773, November Houston approach. College altimeters 3046. 3046, 773, November, thanks. 500 feet to go. Temperature is 33 degrees outside, so we made the right call. Not to mention, it's not going to take long before they ask us to descend and maintain 3,000 and then 2,000 anyway, so we just beat them to the punch this time around. <laughs> and there is that 5,000, bringing that power back in. And for 5,000, we're going to do about 2,600, and that should do us just fine. Let's reeling out that mixture. There's some engine roughness. I gotta tell ya, these clouds moved in really fast. Direct Sugarland, 773 November, thank you. Nav mode, we're gonna turn a little bit to the left. There was not a single cloud in the sky like two hours ago. This weather wasn't even actually supposed to be moving in until Monday, but once again, we got our flight in, we stayed safe, so I'm happy. I'm going to take a guess. I do believe the next frequency is going to be 123.8, but we'll find out here in a little bit if we're right or not. We're 62 nautical miles away from the field and we are direct to destination, which now puts us at 58 nautical miles. So let's see if we can't pick up that weather yet. That was not a nice sound. Well, Red is running fantastic right now. She always does, but it's even better than normal. I have the RPM set at about 2600. Cylinder head temperature is 370 degrees. All gauges are in the green. We're only burning 10 gallons per hour, which is fantastic. Our indicated airspeed is 135 and ground speed is 133, so not great, but not it's not bad. And we're level 5,000 feet. Yeah, we're making really good time. I can see an airport. Every single time I start talking, I swear. I can see an airport out in the distance, and I was thinking, I wonder if that's Eagle Lake. Sure enough, it is. We are only about 18 nautical miles away, so kind of nice. If I lost my engine right now, I definitely would not be making it to that airport. According to my glide slope, I wouldn't be making it to any airport. But there's quite a few open fields here, so if something really did go horribly wrong, I'd establish my best glide speed and try to find the best place to land. Good afternoon, Houston, Cherokee 773 in November, checking in 5,000. I'm sure the three of them are perfect enough to advise and have the weather for uh, Sugarland. Did you want the weather or the ILS? I do have the weather and I'd like to do the ILS, please, for 773 in November. November 3 November, thanks. Turn 10, 10 degrees to the right, back to the ILS 35, and uh, yeah, that, that's definitely full stop for you. I know that. <laughs> that's correct. 10 to the right, 773 in November, thank you. I love it. 
He was going to ask if it's a full stop and he answered his own question. Perfect. Sorry, could you repeat that? I was going to say I know that one. It's uh, Little Red, right? Affirmative for 7738 November. This is 5K Little Red. How are you? Yeah, good, good. I knew I recognized the voice in the call, so I thought you only flew in the mornings. I used to, but it's been so cold I've had to switch my schedule up a little bit. Right, do that. We're going to be doing the ILS 35, so let's bring that up here to take a little look. And since he already said that that is what approach we're going to be doing, let's come over here and just get that set up. We'll just load it for now. He did say vectors. Perfect. So we've got that in and ready to go. Skyland 3, Quebec, turn right heading 150, vector for sequence number 2. Right turn, 150. 110.7. This approach will be climbed to 900 feet, then climbing left turn to 2,000 feet on something localizer, south course to Hulu, 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 Hulu. I don't know, it's one of those. 6.3 DME and hold. And let's see, and we've got runway 35, and we've also got the missed approach and the hold in here as well. Perfect. Already on Houston approach on 123.8, we've got Sugarland tower in is 118.65, that is perfect. Excellent. Let's put that on the map here. Ready and willing. Love it. Zoom in here a little bit so I can see traffic more clearly. Now that we're getting closer to that class Bravo, I am anticipating that it's going to be a little bit busier, not only on the frequency, but just in general. There is a lot of airports in this area, so we'll be on the lookout for anybody, and especially gliders. I've been hearing that there's a lot of gliders around here lately, which is really cool. I'd love to fly a glider at some point. There aren't many aircraft in general that I would want to fly. You know, obviously, a Sirius. I have plenty of time in Cessnas. I would love to fly a King Air, a Citation, Phenom. You name it, I want to fly it. Especially helicopters too. That would be really cool. But... I can't remember why we got off track on that. I was going to tell you guys something. I don't remember what it was. Oh well. I'm sure it'll come back to me at some point. Now that we're getting closer, I can actually finish my drink because even if I have to use the restroom once I land, I can run my happy little self over there. We have plenty of fuel on board. I am going to add in some extra power here. See if we can't speed up a little bit. Since we are doing the approach, we're not... Does that maintain 3,773 in November? I can see the city way out in the distance. It is very smoggy, but I can see it. Not a whole lot of traffic around here. I thought it'd be a lot busier. 124.22, November 3, November, what's, the, what's your heading right now? Currently heading 120773 in November. Thank you. Skyline 3, Quebec, flying 140. Not the only one who says please and thank you on the, rivia, uh, on the radio. Almost said on the river. What? And Gulfstream 5, Tango. I'm just going to blame it on the fact that I'm currently flying over a river right now. Cherokee 28, Julia, Connect Houston approach on 13445. We have a thousand feet to go until we level off at 3,000 feet, which is what we were instructed to do, so that is perfect. Remember, 2 Tequila, stand by. We're just changing controls. Next guy, we'll get back with you in a minute. No rush, thank you, 2 Tequila. Remember, 7 Whiskey Tango, descend to maintain 3,000. I think we're saying goodbye to our friend. Carlos 2 3, advise me, have sugar later. Sounds like somebody else is going to be taking over. Carlos 2 3, join at hello, clear visual approach, runway 35. We'll join at hello, clear for the visual 35, Carlos 22. Oh, yeah, there they are. I would like to see if I can spot the traffic that they're talking to. We will definitely be behind them.
200 feet to go until we reach our selected altitude. And I've got the hangars for Sugarland Airport in sight, so hopefully they're going to... It'd be nice if you just gave us direct to... Hello. 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 There's those bumps. Just like clockwork. Anytime you get to between 2,000 and 3,000 feet here in Houston, it doesn't matter what time of year. Attention all aircraft, parachute operations, three zero miles west of Houston Intercontinental Airport at or below 8,500 for the next five minutes. Little Crow, Charger 460 Alpha Alpha, flying 300 at 3,000. Traffic 1 o'clock, 3 miles northeast down, altitude indicates 2,600. Roger, looking for traffic 773 in November. I had a feeling. Sarah 7 Whiskey Tango, airport uh, 12 o'clock, 1 0 miles. Always so hard to spot though. Zip 585, contact Tux Tower, we'll see you. Over Tower, Zip 585. 2,500, uh, with request. I know exactly where they are supposed to be, but I do not see them. They're 500 feet below us though, so should be no factor, but keeping an eye out. Executive Airport, and your cut metal altimeters is 3045. Maintain VFR, resume on navigation to Waxhook. Cherokee 3 in November, turn 20 degrees right, and descend to maintain 2000. 20 to the right, descend maintain 2000, 773 in November. In November 4, Julia Mike uh, Sagan, your type aircraft. Uh, Chancellor 2744, Julia Mike. Bring some more power in, speed things along here. Not really seeing any traffic, so hopefully they're going to clear us to turn soon. 2,000, cylinder head temperature 339, all gauges in the green, and RPMs are at about 2,400. Just because it is pretty bumpy right now, so I'm staying at that rough air maneuvering speed in my airplane, it's 129 miles per hour. Cherokee 3 in November, turn left heading at 080. Left heading 080, 773 in November. Both of our triangles are active. We are on VLOC mode and LNAV, so... Minimums are going to be 300 feet. One zero zero is the same maintain two thousand. Everything else looking good. Citation zero Victor Sierra, turn ten degrees left, the center maintain three thousand. Hulu is going to be our final approach fix. Where we are going to configure to land. Nine two six build site. Sierra it's uh nine two six Roger, I'll have frequency change over to Sugar Line Tower just a moment. And now that I am not faced towards the sun, it is definitely cold. So, time to speed this along. Cherokee <laughs> 0 Alpha Alpha, clear direct West Houston Airport. Clear West Houston Airport, 0 Alpha Alpha. Cherokee 773, November, 5 miles from Hello, turn left, heading at 010, maintain 2000, so establish on localizer, cleared out, left turn 3, 5 approach. Left heading is 010, maintain 2000 until established, cleared ILS 35 approach into Sugarland, 773 in November, thank you. That is always so much to repeat back, that was so intimidating when I was first learning how to do IFR. There we go. So there was a little bit of traffic in front of us, but I'm not seeing them now, so hopefully they are no factor. Five thing at Charlie, level 5,500. Turkey 3, November, turn 10 degrees right to intercept, still cleared, uh, ILS runway 35 approach. 10 to the right to intercept, still cleared, 773 in November, thank you. I was wondering if I was going to be able to request that, but he saw it, so that's worse. So I, was, I was never actually going to intercept. Hello, we were just a little bit too left, of course, there. So now we will, and that'll be perfect. Turn left heading 070. Left turn 070, 
Okay. So we are about to cross an intercept. That looks Security great. November contact, Tower, 118.6, Bible 2. Over to Tower, have a good night, 773 November. Good afternoon, Sugar Land Tower, Turkey 773 in November, checking in. Turkey 773 in November, Sugar Land Tower, good afternoon. Report a three mile final, you'll be number two. Report a three mile final, number two, 773 in November. Sears 926, you're There is our final approach fix, so RPM's 18. Number one, clear to land runway 35. Picture full ridge, fuel pump landing light rotating beacon are all on, pedo heat car heats off. Within that wide arc, first notch of flaps 10 degrees. Bring in a little bit more power as necessary. Beautiful. And once again, minimums are going to be 300 feet, and we're going to report a three mile final. Three, taxi to Anson, monitor ground point four. Turn right at Alpha 3, monitor ground. Four points to ground, Alpha 3, Put in our ground frequency 121.4 and we will be on the ground in about five minutes so if you've enjoyed this video maybe hit subscribe don't forget to smash that like button it helps support the channel and thank you so much for flying with me today I look forward to seeing you on the next one Southwest thank you okay Pull some more of that power back. Let's have a little bit of wind over here because it's speeding us up pretty good. There we go. He said three miles. We're at about three and a half. Thousand feet to go until we reach those minimums. Turkey 3 in November. Traffic's no factor. Runway 35, clear to land. Runway 35, clear to land. 773 in November. You beat me to it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, add in a little Here's bit more power. Uh, self service uh, right now. 926, turn right at Alpha 3, taxi to self serve fuel, monitor ground point 4. Monitor ground and uh, taxi to self service. Uh, just remind me, it's behind these hangars, right? On Alka, on Echo? It is, and uh, check in with ground point 4, please. Roger, I'll check in with them here. All right. There we go. I do say all right a lot. I don't mean to. Airspeed's looking good. 600 feet to go. All gauges are in the green and looking fantastic. We didn't have any traffic to be concerned about, and we are clear to land 35. Sugarland Tower, serious number. 500 feet to go. Papa, hold short number 235. Serious 231 Tango Papa, Sugarland Tower, number 2 for departure. Number 2 1 Tango Papa. And 400 feet to go. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. And field in sight. Second notch of flaps twenty five. A bit of aerodynamic braking pretty smooth i let the nose down a little sooner than i needed to but there you have it if you enjoyed three november turn right at alpha three taxi to parking monitor ground point four so long right alpha three taxi to park monitor ground have a great night 773 november yeah. perfect well if you enjoyed today's flight like i said alpha, alpha, don't forget to smash that like button don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss a flight with me and thank you for flying i hope you had a good time and i look forward to seeing you on the next one bye